My name is Stefan Bloodworth. I'm the curator of the Bloomquist Garden of Native Plants at the Sarah P. Duke Gardens. The Piedmont Prairie here in the Bloomquist Garden, it is now in its third growing season. And each year it's, uh, it's been more and more spectacular. Um, and it's really kind of come into its own in the last couple years. This is what we call ecosystem-based gardening. So instead of gardening where you're, you know, creating a place with three plants of this species, five plants of this species, kind of ordered in a, in a, in a kind of a neat garden-esque sort of way, this is actually gardening based on and inspired by an entire ecosystem. So instead of three or four species, you're working with a hundred and then using um, the, what you know about the ecosystem that the plants come from as cues for how the plants should be arranged in the landscape. The role of fire in a prairie ecosystem is a, is a cleanser. In, in one respect it's there to kind of weed out woody vegetation that would slowly over time come in and outcompete the perennials and grasses which are what domin typically dominate these prairie ecosystems. Um, and also it's a fertilizing, it has a fertilizing effect. So um, burning the grass, the dead grass stems and the dead perennial stems releases nutrients that these plants require for the optimal growing conditions. It's a really kind of evocative experience, you know, watching a landscape burn because on the one hand human beings tend to think of fire as a, a bad thing in the landscape. We want to, you know, keep it, you know, out. But what we really wanted to do and what we were very excited to do would, was to be able to bring fire back in um, kind of as an invited guest and watch how it influences the landscape. The thing that I'm probably the most excited to watch kind of post-burn is uh, how it affects wildlife diversity. Um, because again, the plants that come back may come back differently. It may not look exactly like the prairie that we had last year because the, the kind of the fertilization that is inherent in the burn may favor certain plant species. So I'm really curious to see how the wildlife responds and do we see any difference in wildlife diversity in response to the plant diversity that may get changed as a result of the fire.